All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Oh, welcome to the Family Feud. Are you guys ready to watch an exciting game? Well, I lost me for a second. You guys ready to play this game or what? You ready to meet your teams? All right, let's meet first Team Esposito. Team Esposito, come on down. Tony's leading the charge. This might take a minute. Come on, Tony. There they are. Team Esposito. Come on over here. And their opponents, Team Taves. Here they are. Now, um, uh, here's the thing. We've got three on this side, three on that side, and we need, uh, each team needs one more person. So we're gonna take two volunteers. I gotta tell you, I thought I'd, I'd see a little bit more excitement over this, but who are we gonna take? You're giving me the thumbs down, so I'm not taking you. You're going like this. What's that? What did I say? I don't know. Okay. I didn't hear a word you said. Uh, hmm. What are we going to... How are we going to... All right, you in the green. Come on up. Over there. Don't, don't hop the... Uh, and let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Little man being held up over there. Come on down. Well, that's the wrong game show, isn't it? I'm just going to start throwing out catchphrases. I don't care what game show they're from. No whammies. Let's go. Come on up. Which team do you want to be at? You were picked first. Team Taves or Team Esposito? Team Taves. Shocker. All right, little man, let's go. He Over here. All right, you guys want to meet your teams? Over here on Team Taves. Are you trying to take a selfie? Yeah. Well, we got to play our game first, and then we'll take selfies. Team Taves. Team Taves, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you guys from? I'm from uh, Canada. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about your teammates, your, uh, your family. Who are these guys? This is Kylie. Give it up for Kylie, everybody. She's our uh, family feud ringer. We uh, seemingly picked her out of the crowd, but yeah. she's up here for good reason. Yeah. She's going to help us win today. So yeah. then we'll take a selfie after the game. All right. Is that your dad on the end? Who's this guy? <laughs> That's the coach. My first coach, Dennis Savard, right there. All right, Team Taves. Let's meet Team Esposito. Yeah. Why don't you tell us about your team members? Who do we have over here? I don't know. Uh, we got Henry here. He's going to be the leader. Give it up for Henry. Yeah. And we got John and, you know, Colin. And yeah. That. And Colin is wearing uh, Snapchat glasses. Those are Snapchat. Tony, are you on Snapchat? <laughs> All right, who's ready to play the feud? Let's get our players up, John of the Taves, Tony Esposito, come on up to the podium. Come on up. Yeah, just stand here and answer. Just look pretty. You don't even have to hit the buzzer. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you a question. Come on, Tony. Oh, you turn me off. For instance, I might ask you a question. I'm not going to say this is the one, but it might be something like name a famous Chicago landmark. And if no, don't, I'm doing, I'm walking. How we're doing this? I'm trying to explain it to him. And then if you know the, if you know one, you have to beat Jonathan to the buzzer, and then you're not going to beat him to the buzzer. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Players, are we ready? Name a famous Chicago landmark. John of the Taves. The, uh, the cloud, the, the bean there in the park. The Chicago bean. Survey I the name. says number one. We'll play. You want to play. <laughs> All right, now, 
Now you just go stand over there. Tony, what happened? <laughs> 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 Whew. Now I know why you put him on the end. Oh, boy. All right, Kylie it is, right? Yep. You can you can use this this microphone here. We have on the be on the on the board the bean. Name a famous Chicago landmark. Navy Pier. She says Navy Pier survey says number two. Who do we have now? Richard. Name a famous Chicago landmark. Willis Tower. Willis Tower. Surveys. You guys aren't even waiting for me. Team Tapes is on a roll. Papa Tapes. What do we got? Dennis Savard. You ready for this one? United Center. The United Center survey says. Oh! Come on, three cuffs in nine years. What's, what's wrong with this thing? <laughs> That's one strike. Jonathan, name a famous Chicago landmark. Uh, the Chicago Water Tower on Michigan Avenue. Water Tower Place survey says strike two. You guys can talk into your microphones if there's anything that you want to say to them to intimidate them or get in their heads. Feel free, Snapchat. All right, Kylie. To save the game for your team, name a famous Chicago landmark. Wrigley Field. Wrigley Field. Survey safe. Too much help, too much help. They are still in the game. Richard Panic to keep things alive for Team Taves. I would say Hankook Tower. The Hankook Tower. You're damn right it's up there. Yeah, named after Herbie Hankook. I need help. Come back, Montreal. Oh, I'm French. Uh, I'm uh, 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 the old Wrigley Building. The Wrigley Building. Oh, survey God. says. Oh. <laughs> Team Esposito you have five has a chance to steal the game. <laughs> To make it official, to put their John Hancock on it. What are we gonna say? What are we going with? Millennium Park. For the game, Team Esposito is going with Millennium Park. Survey says, oh! Game one to Team Taves. What were the other two landmarks toward Magnificent Mile and oh. ah, Art. All right, who's ready for round two? <laughs> Players, come on up. Come on up, Kylie. Henry and Kyle are... Uh, Good job, guys. <laughs> you gotta hit the button. All right. Um, Here we go. I would have said like the Jordan uh, statue or something. Like got him? Name a sport. Hold on, I forgot the question. <laughs> Name a sport that doesn't require a ball. <laughs> Kylie. Hockey. <laughs> yeah, it's on there. Nice job. You guys want to play or pass? You want to play? Let's do it. Sure. Yeah, let's play. Let's play the feud. We have six things up there, and you guys are already conferring. I don't 
Who's up first? I think Richard is up first. R Richard is, is up first. Name a sport that doesn't require a ball. What, what is it? Name a sport that doesn't require a ball. Track and field. Show me track and field. <laughs> you guys got to be really bored over there. All right, Dennis. I'll finally get my first right answer of the day. Swimming. Show me swimming. <laughs> Top three answers on the board. Jonathan, you guys are on a roll. Name a sport that does not require a ball. Uh, against the advice of my team, I'm going to say badminton. That's a good one. No. Good. Yeah, it's not a ball. No, it's not a ball. What a survey say? Oh, now you're waiting for me. <laughs> badminton does not require a ball. Requires what, John Scott? Huh? What does badminton require? Shuttlecock. 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 Yes. What do you got? Kylie, right to the microphone. Let him hear you. Biking. Biking. Kylie. Biking. The survey says. Oh, strike two. Might have another chance, Team Esposito. Simmer down. Richard Paddock, again, to save the game. He came through last round. Can he do it again? The question is, name a sport that doesn't require a ball. I would say... Uh. Hey! Hey, can't hear. Yeah. I can't hear him. Yeah, wrestling. Wrestling? Oh. I don't know if you know, I was a wrestler myself. District 22 champion. I don't know if anybody's heard of Anyway, show me wrestling! Wrestling! Dead is Savard. To keep this game going, for Team Taves, name a sport that doesn't require a ball. Come on! Why do you call this, this thing? No, wait. <laughs> kayak, whatever. A rowing. kayak? Yeah. Oh, you really want to get specific. Not just any rowing, only kayaking. Okay. Show me kayaking! Oh! oh. They have a chance to steal it once again. All right, Henry. Name a sport that doesn't require a ball. Boxing. Yeah, good answer, good answer. For the win, Henry says boxing. And the survey says boxing it is. Big hand for Team Esposito. Our feud is tied in one round apiece. Players, come on up. Richard Paddock, John Scott, come on up. Come on, John, get ready. How are you guys? You guys know each other uh, well? No, I don't know them. Okay. <laughs> Families have never gotten together. Are you guys ready to play the feud? Round three. Wrong answer, Somebody's John. Beeper going off. <laughs> Pacemaker. Turn off the microwaves. Name something that follows the word ice. Who got that? Who got it? Oh, me? Panic. Who got what? You got ice. it. Why, I didn't understand the question. <laughs> well, no. no. Now, this gives you permission to answer the question. And then you answer, the, and then yes, uh, if you get it, it but... Hockey stick. I, I don't know. Ice hockey. <laughs> What's the question? Ice hockey stick. That's going to be up there. Do you want to just, you want, I'll give you a chance. Do you want to uh, abridge that, shorten it, uh, make... No. 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 Ice hockey stick. <laughs> Ice skating. Ice hockey stick? Oh! All right. Uh, wait. Wait. So now for you to get a shot, I gotta hit yes. this. Whoa! There you go. All right. Name, name something that's the word ice. Yeah, talk, talking to this. That's why I hit it. 
Hey. I was gonna say ice skates. Ice skates. Ice skates. Yeah, ice Survey skating. Survey says ice skating. You wanna play it? They're gonna play it, ladies and gentlemen. It's on you. You know, John, I wanted to ask you a question. You you could talk into the microphone. That was really well done. You sound like a smart guy, a guy who might write a book. Have you ever written a book? And if so, where could I purchase that book and perhaps get it signed by you? I'm, I'm giving you a plug. Talk into the thing. I'm, uh, what? Here. I'm, uh, you can buy them here, I think. Yeah. Buy the guy's book. That's basically what I'm trying to tell you to do. That was... Good one. Yeah, I could have done it a lot shorter, but... Uh, nice. All right, Colin Fraser, name something that follows the word ice. First off, everybody, go buy his book. Yeah. Right? What about ice, cream? ice cream. Oh, never mind. Colin Fraser says ice cream. Show me ice cream. Hey. Number one. Easy. Tony Esposito, you're up. Name yes, something. Yes. Okay. I'm ready. But you gotta. Add, it's you have to say it though, and then he'll say the next one. He can tell you what to say, but you gotta say it this time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Name something that follows the word ice. Ice, ice cubes, my favorite. Hey. hey. How about it? Tony Esposito says ice cube. It says ice cube. All right, Henry. How's this going so far? Is this pretty fun? Yeah. Yeah. When the day started, did you think you'd be up here with hockey royalty? No. No. Well, it seems like it's a really major moment in your life, so. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm glad I could provide that for you. Name something that follows the word ice. Ice fishing. Yeah. Oh, beauty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Show me ice fishing. Oh, that was a good guess. I'd have said that too. That was pretty good. John Scott. Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> Show me Ice Ice Baby. Oh, that was a good one. Colin Fraser, this is to save the game. For Team Esposito, name something that follows the word ice. Yeah. And ice cream already up there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go with the audience and uh, iced tea. Oh, come on. Show me iced tea. Oh. Wow. That was a Thanks good one. Thanks for the help, I don't guys. Know who these people surveyed are. Jonathan Taves for the round and a 2 1 lead. Names. What are we to say on? I'm one of the two. Hey, ice coffee. No, I don't know what it is. Today. Before the next panel starts, name a word that follows ice. We're going to go with uh, iceberg. For the round. They say iceberg, and the survey says. The score is two rounds to one. Are you guys ready to play round four? Colin Fraser, Dennis Savard, come on down. Now, two to one, we're playing five rounds. Dennis, your team could essentially put this out of reach by winning this round is, is how this game is played. So not to put any pressure on. Yeah, they don't put these on yet. Yeah. Uh, are you guys ready to play? Name a common fear. Colin Fraser. Spiders. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Come on. Colin Fraser says spiders and the survey says Spiders! Snakes. 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 Denny Savard to steal Dark. the round. Fear Dark. of. Dark. I think it's Dark. Uh, yep. oh. Snakes! 
snakes, yeah. He Good says answer. a fear of snakes in the survey sets. Oh. Oh. They want to play, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't get it. They might be right. It might be this is a big round, and I don't. I don't want to put any put any pressure on you, Tone. But you're the first one up, and if you don't win this, young Henry is going to remember it forever. I know you don't want to ruin his day. Name a common fear, Tony Esposito. Heights. Tony Esposito says a fear of heights, and the survey says yeah. number one. Good answer. Henry, if you guys win this, what are you going to do with your prize money? I don't know. Probably buy John Scott's book, right? Oh my God. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. He said no, but yes, he's huge. <laughs> Say yes. The dark? Name a common fear, Henry. The dark. Oh, what should I say? Yeah. First, I'm going to preface that by saying that's a good answer, and people are stupid, because the survey says, that's good. What? Everybody's afraid of the dark. Really? Who, who, any of you people surveyed for this? All right, because if you are, get the hell out. John Scott. Flying, flying. He says flying. Good the answer. The survey says, flying. Team Esposito is conferring. This is some meeting of the minds right here. Huh? <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Would you look at this collection? Colin Fraser. I'm going to give all the credit to Tony on this one. Water. Drowning. Water. And the survey says no. Boy. Easy. This is, uh, this is big. Team Tapes could have a chance to steal the round and essentially the game. We'll let Henry answer, absolutely. Clowns. Jonathan Tapes. Yeah. Clowns, oh, sorry. <laughs> Henry says clowns and the survey says. <laughs> Team Tapes has a chance to win the round okay. and put this game away, from what I've been told. Kylie is going to answer for Team Taves. What is your answer? Death. Fear of death. That's dark. That's dark. It's, that's, uh, a, that's a little weird. It's strange. It's a good, a little dark of an answer. No, no way. She says the fear of death, and the survey says yeah. death it is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that makes it three rounds to one. <laughs> but wait, I'm being told that the final round is worth three points. So whoever wins the final round will win our family feud. Is it going to be Team Tapes? Or Team Esposito? Let's find out. Tony Esposito, Jonathan Tapes, come on down. This is it. Do you have anything you want to say to Jonathan or anybody else in Team Taves before we get this final decisive round going? He has to give me 10 extra seconds. Yeah. You should give him like three, right? Three is fair. Jonathan, anything you'd like to say to Tony or any of his teammates over there? Sounds like a deal. <laughs> All right. Do you want me to count out the three seconds or are we just going to go on the honor system? Okay. Final round for the game. Name a famous John. Yeah, you were you you got it. Name a famous John. Kennedy. He says John Kennedy. And the survey says JFK. You want to play or you want to pass? They're gonna play. They're gonna play. Yeah, let's go. Let's play. John Hancock. Yeah, you and I should go on the road. We could oh, make a killing, huh? 
John Hancock. Two Italian boys. Yeah. Henry, you're up, buddy. Name a famous John. John Cena. Can't see me. Oh, what does John Cena do? Yeah, that's what he does. Show me John Cena. Let's go to John Scott. <laughs> Name a famous John. This is hard You're for standing me. Standing right next to him. I know, You're Henry. Um, <laughs> John Hancock. He says John Hancock, and the survey says. Oh boy, Colin Fraser. This is. I'll let you guys confer, cause this is a big. This is to save the round. This is this is all all the westerns I used to watch with my dad, John Wayne. Yeehaw! Colin Fraser says John Wayne, and the survey says. Hey! Four answers left on the board, but two strikes. Team Esposito. No, 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 don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't say nothing. Henry, name a famous John. John Lennon. John Lennon. And who was John Lennon? He was on the Beatles. Yes, yes he was! My man! He says John Lennon and the survey says... Yes! Good job. Yeah, heck with that beaver, right? don't take me back. <laughs> We are don't at a say Hawks nothing, convention, don't say nothing. so you can't hear him. could name don't a say famous nothing. John. Hey, can't help him. Don't help him. Don't help him. No help. Huh. No help. Wow. <laughs> name a... Is Henry going to answer for you again? I've lost all control. Time limit. Hey, Henry, you're in charge. Whatever you want. John Wilkes Booth. John Wilkes Booth. Show me the assassin. The assassin. Yeah. Wow. John Travolta. This is, uh, God, the tension is, it's palpable right now. I don't these, these guys is, uh, don't need any help. Don't help them. This is probably one of the... I mean, look at these. It's probably the biggest moment of some of these guys' career. I mean, that's... Right? This is, this is huge. You have the winner. Who's going to answer? Kylie is going to answer. This is for the game. If you get it right, you're the winners. If you get it wrong, you're still a winner. Thank you. Your answer is... John Travolta. For Blackhawks Convention 2017 Family Feud, she says John Travolta. And the survey says... <laughs> Team Taves is our Family Feud champions. Let's see the final two answers on the board. Are we going to see them or no? Well, I'll tell you what they were. Number six was Johnny Cash, and number five was Jonathan Taves. Let's hear it for Team Esposito one more time. And let's hear it for Team Taves, your champions. Kylie and Henry, thank you guys for coming. Enjoy the rest of the convention.